Welcome to day 8 of my VCV rack experiments. I am Ablard and today I am making what I call music for virtual percussion. Yes, it is inspired by Steve Rai. Uh, what I'm doing here today is to have a percussive patch um, basically, I have two lines, one at the top and one at the bottom here. And as you may hear, they go out of phase. One is clocked to 80 BPM, although BPM tools sees that as 80.5. And the other is clocked at 79 BPM, although BPM tools here sees that as 79.8. Either way, they go out of phase and that gives some interesting effects. All right, um, we have the clock going into the Detroit sequencer. Um, this clock is multiplied by three and has a little swing and it goes through this sequence and the full productive art goes into a nulli, the resonator module and it gives a, a high percussion the one that is panned somewhat to the left um, the strum is triggered uh, also from this clock multiplied by three uh, but goes through a Bernoulli gate so that we have some variation there um, the output goes through tone control which is now stereo thank you vault that is very nice and into the xfx reverb uh, which is sponsored by blamsoft um, I'm getting this for free um, if I use it in my videos, which I'm doing now. As you can hear, it's a lovely lush reverb. Really nice sound. Okay, that is one channel. The other one here does the same thing, except a little bit slower. And is panned somewhat to the right. And if you listen, especially with headphones, you can hear the difference in the timing between left and right. They're not exactly the same. They go out of phase and then they meet up again and so on. The same happens with the more bassy drums, although they have a steady beat. And they are triggered here from these SEC4 sequence modules from SK. They have the exact same sequence and it's simply go get uh, the clock from here, no multiplication, no swing, no Bernoulli gating, just straight four beat, which is something I normally abhor, but because this is slightly melodic and a bit more subtle, I like it. Um, all right, the sequencer triggers the resonator in a different setting here than over here with the higher percussion but still we get a, a percussive kind of a Japanese drum the bassy kind and that kind of sound um, again I use Toho for tone control but I have two mono channels, I have one from the faster and one from the slightly slower uh, timed channels, and they go into 
this tone control, which makes it a bit bassier. And then they also go into another XFX reverb module from Blumsoft. And this is mixed uh, somewhat more subtly than the higher percussion so that it doesn't get too muddy. And you can clearly hear they're completely panned. And right now they're out of phase. And then they will come back together again. There they are. And then I will go out of phase again. And the same thing with the higher percussion, although that may not be as clearly phasing as this more bassy drum. And that is my patch for today. Thank you for tuning in and check back again tomorrow.